Good afternoon everyone. This is Harshi from Will Open Minds International School welcoming you all to our third vlog with Mr. Suraj Pancholi. Mr. Pancholi is a famous Indian actor who made his acting debut in Bollywood with his super hit movie Hero. He is one of the fittest actors in the film industry. So let's meet Bollywood superstar Mr. Suraj Pancholi. A warm welcome to you sir. Thank you for the introduction but I'm not a superstar yet but I will be I'm working towards it but thank you yes. Thank you for being here with us this afternoon. We would now like to have a small tete-a-tete -tete with you yes. and take you back to school. I already feel back to school but school now looks very different from back then. It's I mean we didn't have ACs. Uh -huh. We didn't have uh, benches like these. This school is a beautiful school. This is like uh, a mansion compared to our schools at that time. Thank you. Uh, I like to see the change that you know uh, what the Birlas have done to this school because it really is a beautiful school. It really is. I would want my kids to come to this school. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Please tell us which school did you go to and your fondest memory of the school or a particular teacher? See, uh, I've changed a couple of schools. Uh, the reason for that is that the teachers didn't like me. Okay, oh. I was really, really a naughty kid. I actually was. I never carried books. See, I'm a very bad example. Don't follow me, okay? I'm just saying my experience. Uh, uh, I was a bad student. I was bad in in studies. I was I was good in art. I was good in, good in art. I was good in craft. I was the best in sports. But experience in school was, I think, is the be best experience in in life. And I think all of us sitting over here, we miss school, you know. Uh, when you're in school, people say, oh, college life is amazing. But no, it's, it's the school life that's the best life, yes. Okay. Any particular incident that took place in school which had a positive impact and helped you progress in life? A lot, you know. Um, because I was bad in studies, I got bullied a lot. Um, I mean, uh, I tried my best, but it just wasn't. Like, it didn't come naturally to me. So I got bullied a lot in school, which made me uh, better in sports. And till today, I've been following sports and I've been following fitness. So I think it has helped me in some way. And uh, I hope all the kids who get bullied, you know, they give the best out of what they get from, from negativity because uh, negativity is very uh, temporary. Okay. Which sport were you mostly interested in at school level? Were you ever a part of the school team? See, I was the fastest runner in school. Oh. Uh, yes, so everyone wanted me to be in their relay team because I was really fast. Um, I was good in football, I was good in cricket, a lot of other sports, but I can't swim. Till today, I don't know how to swim, so that's something I never could learn. So. I wish uh, I could learn swimming, but I tried. It's just not. I don't think my body is made for it. <laughs> okay. Who is your idol in life and why? Can I talk about a sports person? Yes, yeah, sure. Uh, it was, I think, uh, Muhammad Ali. Because uh, boxing is my favorite sport. Yeah. And Muhammad Ali was and is my favorite boxer. Uh, it's about how he came from nothing to... Uh, winning the Olympic gold and how he won against all the odds and he became a champion. So, it's Muhammad Ali. Yeah. Superb. What would you recommend to students who intend to take up acting as a profession? Uh, I think it's, it's a, a really, really good profession. Uh, a lot of people think it's easy, but I would say that it's the, it's the toughest. Uh, it's really tough because you need to be educated, you need to speak well, you need to dance well, you need to act well. And right now cinema has changed. It's not like how Bollywood was uh, like five, six years ago. Uh, doesn't matter if you're a small actor, big actor, whatever. If you have talent, you will definitely get good work. So uh, I think it's a good, good career option. Yes. But you need to train for it like really hard. Can't take it for granted. Yeah. How do you prepare for a role? Um, how do I prepare for a role? Um, first, I need to like the script, okay? And then, um, see, I have a stammering problem, uh, and I've had it as a child. 
So I really, really work on my lines. I work on them so hard that I don't disappoint my director or my producers while I'm working because uh, everyone has a short time to shoot and if I stammer, I'll have to keep doing it again and again. So I really work on my script and whoever wants to act, I think the script is the boss. Once you memorize your script and you know what you're doing, uh, I think uh, you will have a good film in your hand. Is there a specific role you would like to play someday? Like I said, I like boxing. I would love to play a boxer. Uh, I would love to play uh, an Indian boxer. Uh, maybe uh, if Vijender allows me, like a Vijender Singh, or then there's his coach, that was Hava Singh. Uh, so I would like to play a boxer. Yeah. Is there a particular director you would like to work with? Uh, so I worked as an assistant director before I started films. Before I was an actor, I was an assistant director to learn how filmmaking is and you know, to know how the sets work. So I worked with two directors. I worked with Sanjay Leela Bansali sir and I worked with Kabir Khan sir. And both are my favorite. Uh, but action is something I really want to do and Kabir sir is, I think, the best we have in action. I would love to work with Kabir Khan. How and why is it important to be physically and mentally fit these days? Uh, it is important because, uh, I mean, I'm talking about physically fit. Uh, it is important because, you know, health is, is wealth. If you're not taking care of your, your, your body and uh, uh, if, if you're not uh, eating good food, if you're not uh, sleeping well, no matter what you do, how good you are in studies, how good you are in sports, if you don't take care of yourself and your body, uh, there's no point of, you know, of life actually, because health is actually wealth. Yeah. yeah. What's your secret to fitness? It's good food. Good homemade food is my secret to fitness. I don't eat out. Uh, I don't smoke. I don't do bad. I don't do, I mean, bad stuff. So, I think, yeah. <laughs> so, one message you would like to give to your fans? Uh, don't follow my childhood. I was a very naughty kid. But, uh, you know, um, do what your heart says always. Uh, th think about your mind. Uh, listen to your mind, but do what your heart says always. Yes. Now we will have a rapid fire round. I will name a genre and you will tell us your favorite movie. Ready? Yes. Action. Uh, Expendables. Adventure. Adventure. Uh, Indiana Jones. Biopic. Dangal. Comedy. Comedy. Hera Peri. <laughs> Animation. Beauty and the Beast. Superhero. Super Iron Man. Thank you, sir. It was really fun indeed. That's all for this week's Back to School with Villa Open Minds. Do catch us next week as we interact with more esteemed guests and learn about them and the profession. This is Harshi from Villa Open Minds signing off. Bye. If I could speak like this, I would have become a businessman or an actor. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, sir.